in this lesson we are going to learn about sound engineering okay so what is sound engineering it is simply the study of sound okay so we are going to learn what characterizes sound and what are various characteristics of sound and then we are going to proceed on to architectural acoustics okay so architectural acoustics basically deals with study of buildings which require very high quality of sounds okay so buildings like auditoriums like lecture halls like theaters and so on okay so in such buildings you need to have very high quality of sound so these need to be designed in a certain way so that that high quality of sound is maintained so that field of science which deals with design of such buildings is known as architectural acoustics so we are going to learn about that and we are also going to talk about sound engineering also sometimes known as acoustic engineering okay so first we are going to talk about sound okay so exactly what is sound sound is simply a longitudinal wave okay what is a longitudinal wave we know a wave in which the displacements are parallel to the direction of waves is a longitudinal waves okay so if there are many particles and the displacements of these particles are left and right then this is a longitudinal waves however if the displacement of particles are up and down or are perpendicular to the direction of wave then what we have is a transverse waves okay so our sound is a longitudinal wave okay so sound is a longitudinal wave where the displacement of particles are along the direction of wave okay so whenever you have a body and if it vibrates okay so if this is a bar and it starts vibrating then the elements in the surrounding medium okay so at this moment let's just assume this medium is air then the elements in the surrounding medium are set in motion due to this vibrating bar now these vibrating elements in the air they produce a longitudinal wave okay which travels in the air and what you get is a sound okay so if the frequency is in the audible range then you would be able to hear it and you will perceive it as sound okay so that's the concept of sound being produced whenever a body is vibrated which is due to displacement of elements in the medium from their equilibrium position okay so generally what happens is when sound travels what you have is pressure fluctuations okay sound basically travels in the form of pressure fluctuations so just see at certain points you are going to have these elements which are very densely packed together okay so at certain points you are going to have compressions okay in the air at other points you are going to have a region where the elements are very sparsely located okay so at other points you are going to have expansions or rare factions okay so your sound basically travels in the form of pressure fluctuations where at certain points you have region of high pressure and at other points you have region of low pressure okay so if this vibrating body is vibrating in a sinusoidal fashion then your pressure variations in the adjoining air would also be sinusoidal okay so if you were to draw a waveform of your pressure fluctuations it's going to be something like this okay so you have a high pressure